Fabulous. I mean, this is such an occasion for Aston Martin. It is an amazing event, and it's, and it's great to see the appreciation for the brand of the mark. The following from the crowd here is absolutely extraordinary. The people that all come over from England waving the Aston Martin flags, and it gives you all a boost, actually. Yeah, it's great. It's, it makes you feel good. Yeah, absolutely. I, I get the, the goosebumps and the hairs on the back of my neck every time I walk out here, especially. It is an amazing place. I think the new edition of Golf as well, the livery, everyone looks at the car and I think the livery complements the style of the car as well, so it works for both parties. Yeah, and it's a cool looking car now, the GC1's look incredibly cool. You can see it's a lot of team love here between 007 and, uh, and 009. Le Mans racing, long distance racing, it's a different kind of philosophy of racing. You have to be very, very accurate, you have to be very... Uh, consistent, we're very consistent. It's a different philosophy, which is uh, very challenging for me, coming from the sprint racing category into the long distance racing, and that is for me also very exciting. Now. I've got a lot of experience and you tend to, you know, probably put the drivers that put the most experience in at the start to get, get a good rhythm and get the get the race going. Very busy in the first corner, the first corners and the first lap, so it's never easy to start a big race like this. match with Corvette. Because I could not see anything on the screen, I thought it was just oil on the track, until they told me, no, it's raining, so it was really difficult to see even how much the amount of water was coming. It's been a long night, when it's raining everyone's under a lot of pressure as well. Now we're coming to a critical point now because the 
Well, the track's drying, so we've got to decide on the tyre change, when to change the tyres, not to take too many risks, but you can't afford to slow up too much because the, the Corvettes are far behind. So a great team, the atmosphere is wonderful in the team, the great camaraderie with the drivers, but uh, we never count our chickens. That's on my last uh, pit stop, the car didn't start straight away, so I think they're all, um, all prepared to try and get a new battery on, a starter and what else. Obviously started up straight away and I think everything's tickety boo at the moment. You're definitely running the most beautiful car in the whole lineup. are you agree? Yes, I'm very proud of it to show it to the people. the emotion and it's not just the guys here the drivers all the team here it's all the people back at base who made all the parts who made it all happen and it was such a good fight to be within a few minutes one lap overall the race is absolutely exciting and I, I'm here since 45 years but I have never seen something but this is absolutely stunning and having the second time the GT1 uh, class win here in Limoy is absolutely great and this together with our class seek uh, win uh, last or three weeks ago in the Nürburgring in 24 hours with the V8 Vantage together makes a totally, absolutely exciting one.